Hey guys, welcome back to A Little Mountain Life. I'm Don. I'm Natalie. Is yes, that my you life? Are. Yes, okay. yes. <laughs> and this is our 2020 recap video because we're YouTubers. And yeah, that's what it we is. do. Wow. <laughs> Anywho, 2020 started out like any year would, except we didn't have a shower or heat inside this house. Or even insulation fully. We had the spray foam up, but we didn't have fiberglass behind us. So. We started off the year kind of rough, as far as that goes. Yeah. Didn't have the creature comforts of, of heat and showers. Yeah. But we eventually got that done. And that shower was heckin' nice after yeah. all that time taking a shower inside of a camper and then kind of spraying myself outside in the cold. Yeah. Oh gosh, that was Those horrible. last few hose showers outside were <laughs> brutal. Oh boy. Uh, so we got that done. So that was really exciting and we moved forward with that. And this was the end of Don's music teaching career this year. He quit his job at the end of last year and he finished teaching in the spring, but it got cut short because of yeah, all COVID virtual. And, and school going out early. Yeah, so but I started this year as a teacher. But how was life as a man of leisure, Don? So much leisure <laughs> all the time. It was a really hard decision for us to make for Don to quit his job, but it's actually worked out so well because the girls have been doing remote school, and so Don's basically been homeschooling them. And if he hadn't done that, I, I don't know what we would do. Yeah. I, I would not be able to work much at all. I would be so just working nights, exhausted, having a hard time. So it's actually worked out really well. Yeah, worked out really, really well. We made a lot of progress in the house this year, but not nearly as much as we wanted to or hoped to. A lot of it has been because the girls have been home this whole time and not in school. We've been basically homeschooling them, doing remote school. Mm -hmm. And then also we've had a couple of injury setbacks with our quarterback here. Quarterback? <laughs> our star player in the home build situation. I tore my meniscus early in the year. And, and then? And then I tore my hamstring. Star quarterback down. Yeah. So, so let me just ask you, I don't know what a sports question is. I was going to try to ask one like they do in the press conferences, but I can't think of one. Yeah, you don't. They don't, they don't ask you about injuries? When she talks about sports, she's talking about sports ball because she has no idea what she's saying. <laughs> go, go sports. It's, like, it's okay. Sports go sports. Athletics are number one. Moving on. We, we were really hoping to have this house finished by Christmas and it's just not there and my injuries didn't really help that. I feel like this wall is like representative of where we are. It's about like half, halfway. halfway there to being nicely done. Yeah. Something really exciting for us this year was starting our own real garden. And we always knew we wanted a garden and we had never really done it much before. And I built these really cool raised beds. I did a video about that and that's done really well. A lot of people have seen that and wanted to build the same thing. And they worked great for us. Yeah. We grew a lot of food. Yeah in those raised beds. Not everything worked well, but a lot of things did. Yeah, it was fun, it was cool. So that was like the beginning of kind of like the homesteading kind of thing. We had already had the chickens for eggs, but now we were starting to do our own vegetables. Mm -hmm. And then I started a new business. Right. <laughs> I started a microgreens business. And that, I mean, it's done well. We have questions going into 2021 about its sustainability, viability, when it comes especially to my time, mm -hmm. um, if it's worth all the time I'm putting into all the harvesting and all that good stuff that comes along with a microgreens business. So I still enjoy doing it. We're still gonna give it a go in 2021, but stay tuned, we might we might be changing We might that. be reevaluating. yeah. Yeah. We also did our first run of meat chickens this year. Yep. That was an cross. adventure and a half. <laughs> Yeah, we, we, they were out in the grass and I built those chicken tractors for them and mm -hmm. were they tasty? They were and actually we've almost eaten all of them now. Yeah, we only got like two left in the freezer. Yeah, so that was a concern of mine was were we going to be consuming them, but we, we have. Oh yeah. I think we could definitely grow more of them. We just need to uh, finish the house first. Yeah, once the house is finished, if we have time next year, we'll try to get a second batch in if we have time. They're delicious, mm -hmm. and it was good timing when everybody was freaking out about food availability. We were growing our own meat, mm -hmm. and we had our garden going. And then Morgan from Goldshaw Farm sent us some duck eggs. That's right, we have ducks now. So we have ducks now. So we have chickens, ducks, we've got our dogs and cats, and we have the garden. So it's gotten a little busy up in here, besides the house. Feels like 
Like a little homestead. Like an it's actual cute. little homestead. Yeah. Maybe a little bit. And the ducks have been really cool. They were super cute ducklings. Oh, they were yeah. adorable. So cute. And it was a really interesting and educational experience getting to hatch those out from their eggs. Mm -hmm. And now they're giving us eggs. Like we have seven female ducks and we get seven eggs a day from them. Yeah. Which is just incredible. It's really cool. I'm a big fan of, of duck egg salad. It's really good. Yep. Hard boil and all that stuff. So we've made a lot more house progress recently. Yes. We hired out some stuff. We hired out our gutters we had put on the house. Yep. We had a French drain dug and installed around the house. Fancy French drain. Oui, oui. <laughs> uh, we had some landscaping done. We had some trees taken down. And then just two days ago, we had 120 trees planted. Yeah, we'll have a video on that coming up soon. So we've done been doing a lot of work on the property. And then in the house, we're getting there. We yep. built the loft. We finished it almost. It's not trimmed yet. Um, the railing is installed. The stairs are installed. So now we need to keep shiplapping. Our kitchen cabinets are here, but we're having a hard time getting Ugh. them to finish it. We're waiting for a counter. Lots of drama with the kitchen and hopefully we yeah. don't have to make a video that we don't want to make if that doesn't get here soon. Yeah. We were, we were told that our kitchen would definitely be installed by Thanksgiving and we still don't have it. So I know it's a hard year for everyone, but yeah. Yeah. And so we just need to ship lap the rest of the house mm -hmm. and trim and get our kitchen in. And then are we done? I guess we need to put in another bathroom too. Yeah. We've got the master bathroom, which has been the grow room for the microgreens. But it's been really exciting and energizing to see it start to look and to feel like a house instead of just some kind of messy construction zone. Yeah. It's coming together. So. But I think my main goal for 2021 is to not do dishes in the shower anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Doing dishes from your knees in the shower. Getting a little old. Very sure. old. Like it was old the first time I did it, but now a year later, it's very old. Yeah. yeah. So all, all that progress with the house, homeschooling the girls, everything. So a 2020 recap video wouldn't be complete without talking about Natalie and her amazing job, working her job as an audiobook narrator. Just... Every book she reads is something we can build and add to this house and finish in this house. And it's just, it's amazing. You're, you're the best. Thanks. And with all that, our YouTube channel has done well this year. I mean, we're not yeah. like big stars and we weren't re really anticipating that, but, but it's been fun to share what we're doing with other people and to talk to people about it and have people be interested. Especially it's with COVID fun. people aren't meeting each other in person. So getting information online, yeah. like people, people have emailed me this year saying, you're doing amazing things. I want to do it too. Not with YouTube, but with building the house and the homestead. And it's really cool to be able to get that. Cause you used to be the guy emailing people yeah. about would... their, about the stuff that they were doing. Cause you wanted to do it. So yeah. that's cool. So I'm, I guess we're YouTubers now and I guess so. that's kind of fun, but the, the growth of the channel this year has been amazing. And so yeah. we thank you for it's that. Exciting. We appreciate you guys, and we got even more good stuff for YouTube coming up next year. So Don put together a montage of five seconds from each YouTube video that we did this year, so we hope you enjoy it, and we can't wait to see you in 2021. See you next year. If the other pump on the right breaks down, I can go ahead and just turn the there. I need to frame out the rest of the wall around the windows, and then I need to get the... There's a lot that you need to be able to do, and it's hard to be an expert at everything, but there's- I've got a grow rack over here. I've got a stainless table over here for prep. I've got a space. So I've been a middle school band director for the last six years. And you know, that's, we're excited. I know things are crazy, but we, we see kind of a new beginning here. So we're about to start our very first garden. Um, a lot of people are starting gardens right now with everything and the broccoli. Oh my gosh, it tastes like broccoli. And the Let's go ahead and do it. There's never been a better time to grow food, so. Yeah, I mean, our and these are not the nicest looking boards. They're leftovers from our home build. So I need a place to put all this feed and keep it dry. So I'm gonna put all these in these cheap tracks. The worst part about dealing with microgreens is having to wash their trays every single week. So like I mentioned, these chickens will only take eight weeks to grow out to butchering weight. I stopped filming because I was trying to get this done faster, but um... This is the place. This is the new home of Linden Microgreens.
So when I'm pulling it, it doesn't take much effort at all, about 10 seconds worth of pulling. Uh-oh. Plug <laughs> in there already. Take a little straw, stick that in. We're just gonna keep them home and I'm gonna I'm gonna teach them at least for the first nine weeks, but possibly for the whole school year. This is our first real garden. We moved here about two years ago and our only other garden. This shiplap here is is MDF, the material, and it you know we got a nice little table here set up with our devices and uh, where I get started with school. The best thing to do is to insulate before you do all the stuff that we've already done. You want all that fair. Take a picture of me and send it to my wife so you can yell at me later. We grew and ate a lot of vegetables this summer. This is why everything takes so long. And also because we are not trained professionals. But I've seen other people on the internet and on the YouTube talk about this router as being something where soaking in the beautiful sounds and smells and sights of fall. The silky was just walking by. Looked like it might have broken her neck. I'm not gonna lie, we were not fully prepared to be duck people, even if my name is Donald. <laughs> Not that we're like the crotchety old people that hate kids on our lawn. You are a little bit though. Okay, a little bit. So it feels a little weird the first few times that we did it. Uh... 